kind of a package and also being associated with a company uh, like nurture farm exactly um, and that was the first time when i actually started thinking what do i want to do after i get out of college kind of built me you know like uh, it had told me everything everything that i needed to know so that i learned almost everything almost everything like all the these fundamental subjects that Hi everyone, welcome back to another success story of Programming Pathshala and today we have Ankur with us who has gotten placed as an SDE at Nurture Farm. His story is full of motivation of course and he will also be taking us through his interview process as well as his resume, resume building process and we will also be getting to know about uh, what tips and tricks he followed so don't forget to watch till the end of this video and give it a thumbs up if you like it. So hi Ankur how are you I'm doing great thanks for asking what about you amazing amazing so uh, Ankur let's begin with a bit of introduction about yourself uh cool so as you already know I am Ankur currently pursuing a dual degree that is BS MS from the Indian Institute of Science Education and Research Bhopal uh in computer science and electrical engineering um so i i do have experience of doing internships software development internships at programming patshala itself and also right now i am uh, pursuing an internship in computer vision at a startup as part of my master's thesis apart from that i also have experience in working on the uh, modern stack that is the mongodb express react and node js uh, in the internship at programming patshala that's great ankur so uh, as we know that you will be joining nurture farm as their software development engineer so could you share about your journey to nurture farm so firstly it was an on campus placement okay. so so the entire process was handled by our college placement team only so the entire process was of four rounds so the first round was a coding test uh, uh, three problems one sequel two dsa uh difficulty level was lead code medium hard and then the next three rounds were interviews mm -hmm. uh the, so the first interview again was a pure dsa round again the difficulty level was lead code medium hard mm -hmm. the second round was a bit longer and it was a pure machine learning round okay. uh because my software development role is a machine learning inclined role um, um so uh it revolved mostly around classical machine learning concepts and also a system design question uh from the perspective of a machine learning engineer and the final round final interview was an hr discussion mostly around cultural uh, okay stuff. okay so that's that's good so ankur now that you have reached nurture farm how does it feel to be reaching there how's the feeling it uh, truly speaking it is an amazing feeling like uh, so like starting out my career uh, with uh, such a kind of a package and also being associated with a company uh, like nurture farm exactly um, uh, it is an amazing thing uh, to happen actually so yeah like, I, i feel amazing so your journey to nurture farm Uh, you must have had too many obstacles or you know some problems or issues even with the courses or you know your preparations so uh, tell us something about your journey so the journey it's it's a it's not a few months journey it had been a long journey i think the time uh, the the time it the entire thing started i exactly remember it was the february of 2020 i was uh, in the second semester of my third year so as i said it is a two year course like dual degree course five years course yeah. so i was in an, in my penultimate year then but then i actually had a plan to drop off after my fourth year so that was actually my pre final year okay. so i was in the second semester of my pre final year and yeah. then in the tier 1 colleges most of the tier 1 colleges good students have already got placed into some amazing companies for their internships and that was the first time when i actually started thinking what do i want to do after i get out of college i i need some kind of a job or something right yes. i won't be going for a phd or uh, or something else uh, so that is when i came to know that most of the students actually 
become a software developer after doing a CS degree. Yeah. And that is when it started. Uh, yeah, so it had been a journey of two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the time I also came to know about programming partshala. And I think it is almost going to be two years that I have been associated with programming partshala. Wow. It started from April 2020. Yeah. yeah. So as you have already yeah. mentioned, programming partshala. How would you give your insights on the course here at programming partshala? For for me, programming partshala had you know kind of built me. You know, like uh, it had told me everything, everything that I needed to know. So I can exactly tell you where I was at that time. So when I joined Programming Partial in the month of April 2020, till then I knew basic Python. I had a very simple project that I have done as an internship, uh, as a research internship. So that was all that I knew. Mm -hmm. And from April 2020, after that, I learned almost everything, almost everything. Like all the CS fundamental subjects, the entire DSA, like everything about DSA is was taught to me by programming partshala. Even the language that I'm most comfortable in right now, which is C++, even that was taught by programming partshala. So like right from the basics to where I am right now, uh, it was done by programming. Um, Now it has been a journey of two years. So what kept you motivated throughout the journey and you will be reaching your heights? What was your key to motivation? I think one of the biggest reasons for me was uh, even though I had been someone who had been performing really well in this school and mm-hmm. after getting into uh, Aisar Bhopal, which is a tier one college, I, I, I kind of let my academics go down a lot. I wasn't performing well, uh, even though I was able to get some amazing peers, I, I, I did not care much about my academics and things uh, wasn't going well but it was when uh, I got almost at the end of um, my pre-final year and I started seeing posts on LinkedIn of people getting into you know amazing places and then I uh, started having this feeling how do I actually get a job after I come out of college so that was uh, a big uh, and and like honestly speaking I am from a family where most of the people are very well read. I was the only one who wasn't doing much uh, in terms of career. Uh, yeah. So that was a point when I felt like uh, I, I need to do something, you know, uh, given the fact that the kind of resources I have been provided with and the kind of people I have been able to, you know, uh, grow up with around. So based on that, I should be able to achieve more and get a bit more serious with sure. my career. Yeah, that was the point. And, and, and when I joined Programming Patshala, I kind of, I, I took this oath to myself that uh, after I joined this uh, coaching, you know, uh, whatever they teach, I'm just going to blindly follow whatever yeah. they ask and tell me to do. And the only thing that I will make sure that I am the best in the batch that I've been allotted to, I, I got to be the best and I should always be in the good books of those of the faculties that amazing so uh ankur before you leave before you leave any words of advice for our budding software developer engineers so there are a lot of people i have seen who get into this debate of how the current uh, uh, interview system has been set up by mostly the tech giants or the startups paying really well uh and they generally the debate is around why such dsa is required uh, for um in for a software developer who solves problems which is much different from a dsa problem uh, but i want to clear this out that uh, this this uh, argument is totally not not true there is a lot of uh, correlation between a, a dsa problem mm-hmm. and a software development problem or dsa is problem which we solve generally on lead code or some other a platform mm-hmm. uh, is generally a miniature a form of an actual real world problem we mm-hmm. can rather say it as a it is a simulation of a, a a large software problem that a software developer needs to solve right and uh, reg- and uh, the other part would be so this part was regarding that whatever you are preparing for that actually uh, would help you in becoming a better software developer also and secondly 
uh, if you are doing this entire thing just for the sake of an interview preparation, uh, it can be really hard. Rather, you start enjoying the process and you know thinking of uh, like looking at each of the DSA problem as a problem that you are going to solve. Yeah. Uh, you can just maybe uh, by solving that problem, you aren't helping a company grow, uh, but you can just think of it as a you know problem that has been given to you as a software sure. developer. Don't think of it as after you clear the interview, you become a software developer. When you have started preparing, you are a software developer. <laughs> that's that's such a big thing and it's very motivating. I, and any resume tips which you would like our viewers to know? Any resume tips or tricks from your side? How to build a good resume? Uh, I think the, the protocol has is pretty straightforward and it is already out there. Single page, it has to be a LaTeX, it should be written in LaTeX. Right. And, uh, uh, and there is nothing like experience should be first. And if you're a student, the education should be first. There is nothing like that. Just uh, uh, keep this one thing in mind that you are trying to sell yourself on a single piece of paper, whatever you, whatever you feel is important and can help you get into that uh, job profile. Right. You just put it uh, above that. That's it. You know, I, I have seen people saying that this is how the entire resume should be structured, but I don't think so. There isn't any rule kind of there as, as such. Okay. You have done more coding, put that in the first. You have done more projects, put that at the beginning. You have done better internships, put that at the top. Yeah, well formatted, no grammatical mistakes. A single column resume. I have seen the DD resume. I personally think that the ATS tracker isn't yes. able to uh, parse through the resumes uh, well if it uh, is a two column thing as far as my experience goes but still it is a very standard resume a lot of people use it but I think it is better to use a single column resume yes. and coming to the priority as I just mentioned put the one at the top which you feel is better for you. Great, great. So, Ankur, it has been lovely having a word with you. Thank you so much for giving me your time. And we wish you all the best for your future ahead as an SDE at Nurger Farm. And congratulations for it once again. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much.